Hey guys, Kid Gear here. Today I want to show you a thing in Sony Vegas on media generators and how to use uh, some cool examples to use a color gradient um, as using them as borders to a video because uh, some of their uh, purposes are more than being a backdrop or just any, you know, anything you want to add color to or add more, you know, life to your video and, you know, just add some cool stuff, um, borders and, you know, just backdrops or chrome key or whatever. Um, Vegas has some solutions. So if you go to media generators, um, you'll see right here it says color gradients, and there's a couple here. Um, first one I'm gonna start off is with this fancy wooden board to be use it. Uh, try and use it as a border or a type of you know ticker tape thing in the bottom of a video. So I'm gonna import um, some media real quick here. So uh, I'll get a video. I'll get my old video review of the i2 stream which I just uploaded a couple of days ago. So well, by the time you're watching this video, it'll be uploaded a couple of days ago. <coughs> Excuse me there. Sorry. So uh, we're gonna open up this video right here. And I'm gonna just drag it in. And I'm gonna cut it down because I really don't need a lot. I mean, I just need some of it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm also gonna can create uh, actually two video tracks. I know I'm gonna need two because I'm gonna use text on my uh, little ticker tape thing here. So I'm gonna create two video tracks. Now I'm gonna go over to Media Generators and take this fancy wooden board and put it right here so on top of the video. That way it overlays itself over the video as you see here. Now it shows you these points. One, four, three, six, five, two. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. Each represent a point of the gradient. They all make up this little wooden board. So if I was to take this number and pull it up, you see that that color, you know, that's the backdrop, the very backdrop. If I was to take one, that's that brightish orange color. The plus is where you actually can move it. And if you take any of the bottom, you can actually, you know, just drag it around left to right. Any of the bottom numbers, the plus is how you move it up and down. So I'm gonna take number one and just push downwards. Oh, sorry, I think I pulled the wrong number there. So you want to make sure you get it very precise. And if all the other numbers aren't coming, you may have to drag them along with them. So it looks like three is the one that's not. You know, you see, it's not the one that it's the one that doesn't want to come down. And it's kind of hard. You have to get used to it. It's, it's kind of hard to mess with these numbers. Um, what you can do is you can use these tools right here. Select next gradient control point. So it'll go. It'll jump to whatever you know number, and you can change the gradient type to elliptical. A rectangular or elliptical is like that as you see there. Rectangular it's more obviously rectangular. I like to use it linear. Um as you see it's kinda of slanted, so I'm gonna kinda of try and fix that so it's perfectly straight on. Other tools you have here is decrease gradient uh control point position number and, and increase it. You can remove the current control point or you can add it. And of course you can uh keyframe if you want it to move along, you know, during your video if you want it to move up and down, move across, I don't know, whatever you want to do, you can get creative there. So now we have a little ticker tape uh, banner thing set up. Um, now we're going to get some text. I'm going to use this uh, sample default text and put it on top of the thing so it's on top of all our media and it overlays on top of everything. And I'm going to write, um, I don't know, something like Tech World Productions. Obviously, that's really huge. Um, I mean, you can. there's other solutions like you can actually watermark your videos, but if you want this type of thing right here to be shown throughout, I mean, it'll be pretty cool and you can add like other updates. I'm going to put size 20. Maybe I'll also say something like um, www.adrianstech.com. Um, and today's topic, kind of, you know, just to add some, you know, uh, spice, spice to your video. You know, just add the cool stuff. I2I I stream, because um, that's what I was reviewing. You know, just adds that cool feeling to your video and just add some cool stuff. So now, what I want to do is go to generate media for the text. And I'm just going to go to placement and simply watch my preview window there so I know where I want to go. I want to stay within that red box and kind of drop it in. And I mean, you know, sometimes you may have to size it up a little bit, make the text smaller, or just make it all, you know, just to fit there. I'm going to take it off. No, I want to keep it on bold. Maybe make it size 18. Go back to placement. I mean, actually, you can go out of the red box. It doesn't really matter. I mean, that's only for TV. That's the TV. I think, uh, that's like the. Uh, if you were to put on a TV, that everything outside the red would get cut off. But I think it wouldn't matter for this. So now we have my video here with my uh, you know wooden board, my color gradient, my text, and my actual video. And if I hit play, obviously it's a little choppy because I have all this stuff on it. And you know when you render it out, uh, that's the best part. It look all smooth. I'll have this little banner type of thing there. Um, and you know that's one example of use a color gradient. I mean I don't even have to use that one. I can exit. I can use an elliptical uh, transparent to black. And I'll just kind of put that cool, you know, uh, kind of looks like a fisheye type effect in your video. Um, 
everything else is around it is black and I can click on the video right here kind of focuses in on me kind of you know really type of a uh, cool effect I mean if you do any other videos like uh, it doesn't have to be vlogging but if you do any you know sports skating anything like that let to go white to black that even adds a more dramatic effect centered around your media instead it's just you know there's nothing there's no transparency there's just white I mean you can do whatever you want here uh, you can do use these type of things linear red blue I mean, you get really creative. You can use these rainbow rainbow type things. Um, even some of these are backdrops. So, chroma keying can be used uh, for some of these. So that's uh, obviously uh, if I was to have a green screen in the background, which I do in this area, I have I've set up a green screen now behind me, and uh, I'll be putting uh, you know some new backdrops up. So um, you can use skyscrape, desert, linear, blue and green, and you can even ed edit these starburst and uh, sunburst and stuff like that. You can use all these backdrops and chroma key as well. Um, elliptical ring. I mean, there's so many ways you can get creative with these stuff, guys. To use them as borders, use them as props. I mean, whatever objects in your video. Um, they really are cool. I mean, it just takes some getting used to. It. Remember, you have your three gradient types: elliptical, linear, and rectangular. You have your control points you're gonna need to mess with. Obviously, as always, you can change the color of what's gonna be inside, or if it's just gonna be transparent, stuff like that. So guys, um, this is just that's about it. Covering uh, color gradients are really good tools for creating borders, creating uh, you know little ticker tape things, or just creating a backdrop. Really colorful things that add spice to your video and add you know that I don't know that just good <coughs> a creative feeling to your video, artistic feeling I guess you can say. Any guys, anyhow guys, this kid grew here. Still a little bit sick, but um, look forward to more Sony Vegas tutorial guys uh, hope you enjoyed this one and don't forget to check out adrianstech.com email me questions to adrianstech at gmail.com thanks guys I'll catch you next time